love to support a friend. It would be so cool if I could put my initials in it. All new Ellen. Make sure you spell it right. Ellen, today at 4 on NBC4 New York. As you can see, it is cancer checking mayhem in our public parks. That being said, if everyone else is doing it, back to you in the studio. <laughs> Lisa Lake. That's a great one. F Cancer Charity founder and CEO Yale Cohen has done more to educate others about cancer in her 25 years of life than most people have done in their entire lifetimes. Yale joins us to share her story with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you. Yale, how did all this come about, the, the F Cancer? You know, it all started for my mom. About four years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and I made her a shirt that said F cancer, but a little bit more explicitly. <laughs> um, and people's responses were just really, really amazing. And it all started really organically from there. Wow, I, you know, F cancer, you have such a direct approach. Why the F word, and we're saying F cancer today, really, it's... Much more explicit. It's much more explicit, <laughs> it's the full word. Uh, but wh why choose that? Is, is that a way of grabbing your generation around the, you know, the shoulders and shaking them to pay attention, or is that just because they'll connect to that? You know what, I always joke, but it's quite true, that people give me far too much credit for the name. I didn't choose it, it chose us. It was the That's only felt. thing we could say, yeah, it was, it was the first and only thing that came to mind a lot of the time, and I made Mama's shirt. And it was very evident that we were not the only people that felt that way, and it was all about having this authentic response and letting people have a real response to cancer. And so to name it anything else just felt like it wouldn't be authentic. What did you think when you found out about your mom? For me, when my mom was diagnosed, you think, that's your mom. They're invincible. Like, this cannot be happening to my mom. Did it make y'all even closer? It did. I, I think that, I, I would have thought that was impossible. There she the is. But, um, hey, mom. it did. It's the first time that you realize that your parents are mortal. And that's a really scary thing. Did it terrify you? It did. I think that I was so obsessed with trying to do something, because you're so helpless, right? I'm not a doctor, I didn't, I didn't know how to fix mom. And so I did what I knew how to do. That was research and care. And that's what, that was the foundation of the charity, is letting kids play a role in this. So, you know, in our case, it was once mom was diagnosed, but early detection is a whole different story. 90% of cancers are curable if caught in stage one, which is something that we learned from mom's oncologists. And that was astounding to me. If 90% of cancers are curable in stage one, why don't we teach people how to look for them? Let's never let them get to stage two. So no, it's all right. about, you know, self-examination. You've got some funny, that Funny or Die video with Lisa Ling is fun, but it's, it's all about people in public parks, like, fondling themselves. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a joke. It's very funny, but it's saying, hey, learn how to test yourself. And kids getting involved now and learning that is great. you got Sophia Bush and Adrian Grin... Is it Grenier or Grenier? I never oh, get it wrong. Anyway, from Entourage. <laughs> but you've got a bunch of great different celebrities... Celeste taking part in these videos. How'd you, how'd you motivate a Hollywood like that? You know, I think that I, I can't take credit for that. They're amazing people that um, had a personal connection and wanted to get involved and wanted to let our generation know that we can be involved in this. You know, we're not, nobody comes to us about cancer because we're not in the highest stress demographic and we're not the largest donors. And it's a huge mistake to leave our generation out of this because we teach our parents more than any generation ever has. So let's let's get the youth involved. In I don't know how she got him going. Did you walk in as Natalie Portman? She looks <laughs> You're like, hey, Adrian, it's like, me. Hey, <laughs> let's let's sign this thing up. Uh, you say the, that you prefer the word education to awareness. So is that about catching it early? You know, I think we're all really aware of cancer at this point. We are actually jaded to it. We we see it ten times a day on an advert, or you know, so we hear about it, but we don't actually know about it. You know, in the same way that we, we know we should be doing Excel exams and we know how to talk about them, but we don't know how to do them. And that's, you know, that's a huge shift. Instead of talking about it, let's teach you. So we know you should be doing a self-breast exam. But do you know how, how to do, do a self-breast exam? Yes. I just do it in the shower. Exactly. <laughs> I will Arm confess, up. I don't. You don't I, need to I know. don't think I know exactly what to do, but I will now because... You, I can explain later you. if you'd like. <laughs> Wait, I thought, by the way, let's do a close-up. Natalie Portman meets Giada. Yeah. Giada Dilla Yeah. Oh, good What do you for think? You. I don't That's know. We like the near celebrity sighting here. Yeah. More, more Natalie, though, for sure. Uh, good for you. This is incredible. 25 years. Are you feeling, are young people rallying around the cause? Are you, are you feeling We've that? We've got a great community. It's a young, old, the uh, expected and the unexpected. It's fantastic. Round of applause for mom who did it really well here, raising a great daughter. For more info, go to Let's 
askcancer.com. Mom, we should all have overachieving children. Good for you. Straight ahead. What worked and what did not work from Saturday Night Live season premiere? We've got more from Seth as Ryan Lochte and the new He's Obama. Good. He's good. The new Obama's outstanding. Next. Good job. Yeah.